What's up, Razor fam? Today we're gonna do a video of an orange battery going into a stock Razor stock controller, stock motor, and stock throttle. I wanna see what kind of gains we get on speed, our range, and I'm also gonna weigh the battery side by side so you can kind of see what you're gonna get as far as weight savings by going to a lithium ion battery versus the stock. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so this is what this one looks like with the plastics removed. And a lot of times when we buy these things used off of Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, they tend to look like this. The batteries are leaking. Or they just don't work in general. So this one I bought was not working. I don't know if it's going to work when I plug this plug this battery in. Uh, so you'll be experiencing it firsthand with me as we go through this journey together. Uh, I already put the plastics on for my daughter. This is going to be her bike. She is nine years old. Uh, so yeah, let's get after it. All right, as I started unplugging stuff, I noticed that this connection was all kind of blacked out. So something happened there at some point. The main wires are, you know, electrical taped together. And there's some markings on some of these other uh, connections. So no guarantees this is going to work. But let's see. All right, guys. So the way I'm going to connect this battery to the controller, uh, this battery came with an, an additional connection um, that mates to this. So what I'm going to do is just keep the battery the way that it is. I'm going to take the connection off of the controller and, and solder this in so that they connect together here. So in order to make this orange battery fit, I had to cut the box out of here. These, uh, this side and this side so that the orange battery can lay flat in here. Uh, in addition to cutting that out, what I'm going to do is take a, take a file and I'm going to, you know, kind of work these edges a little bit just so they're not so sharp. Uh, you can cut these off with a sawzall or a grinder, whatever you got. It's, we're not building cabinets here. Um, so well, I'm just going to grind this. I'm probably going to peel off this paint that's looking like crap and then uh, touch it up with some primer or something like that. And then what I also did too, was took my wife's yoga mat and cut it up and put it in here as a cushion. You know, her best yoga mat, Lululemon, they love that shit. Uh, no, I'm kidding, this is a $3 yoga mat from Target. Uh, works great to pad your battery. All right guys, moment of truth. You're gonna find out at the same time, I'm gonna find out if this actually works or I burn my house down. Damn, my wife's gonna be pissed if I burn the house down. So let's see. All right, so the connection's made. Nothing's smoking yet. Let's look at our throttle real quick. Lights up just like it should. Let's come around the back. Let's look at the motor, see what she does. Oh yeah. Very nice. Now, time to button it up and get y'all a speed test. So this is the orange battery with the stock, everything else. Let's see what we can do. So far, so good. I haven't blown anything up. Apologize for the wind noise. Let's go somewhere where we can get a speed run. Got GPS coming up here real quick. Here we go. Oh man, it's sketchy. Oh, yeah. I'd say that's probably 20 miles an hour. I bet when we get back, we got 20, I bet we hit 24 miles an hour. All right, y'all. So the orange battery swap was a success. I kind of thought it might be, uh, but I did want to make this this video for you guys who were unsure. Uh, a few things that I wanted to mention that I didn't mention in the video. The uh, battery that we used was at 53 volts at the time of testing. The weight savings with this battery, so this was a 19.2 amp hour battery, okay? And it weighed 12 pounds. The stock batteries from Razer, the three 12 volt batteries, weighs a total of 23 pounds. So by doing this swap, we saved 11 pounds uh, just off the top. 
the orange dimensions, like I said, this is a 19.2 amp hour, or Greenway also made a 15 amp hour. I don't know the dimensions on that, but I think they're pretty close to this. This one was nine and a half inches by five and a half by two and three quarter. Uh, one thing I didn't show that I wish I had was the wiring the switch. Uh, so I'll drop a diagram right here of how to wire a switch. Super easy. I'm a dumb fireman. I can wire the switch. You can wire the switch too. Uh, nothing to it. I just wired it back to the to the original uh, switch location on the case. The speed test, uh, we got 21.8 miles per hour on the speed test and I'm 190 pounds. Um, so if your kid or your wife is less than that, you're probably gonna get better speeds. Um, so I got a little tied up today. This video is a little bit late coming out. I've been working on my uh, RSF, try a picture of that here. I'll be posting videos on that, uh, how to's, products, reviews on the things that I've been doing on that. And then I also went and picked up this little 500 for my six year old. I'll do, probably do a video on that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but uh, we'll do something with it. But uh, that's the end of this video, guys. Just tried keeping it short and sweet. Um, if you found, found any of this content useful, feel free to hit the like button, the subscribe, you know, do the social media thing. Uh, if you have a question, put it in the comments. I'll answer all the comments. Have a great day, y'all.